it feels really good. Um, you know, it's always kind of, you feel like, hopefully you're prepared after the off season and um, it's always nice, it feels good to do something good <laughs> the first tournament of the year and um, build up that confidence for the rest of the season for sure. I'm just having, trying to have fun. Um, you know, it's really hard to do that when it, obviously you want to win, you want to shoot really hot, but a huge element to scoring well is, is also enjoying your time out there and just having, um, you know, a really solid game plan and uh, just really focusing on every shot in front of you. So we had a lot of fun. I had, I was smiling pretty much the whole round. So um, yeah, it was a good day. No, I feel like I've got a little more distance than I've had in the past um, off the tee. What I'm feeling really good about right now is just being, reacting to how I'm feeling. Like maybe running a putt that I wouldn't necessarily run with my lead or um, laying up a shot that I maybe necessarily wouldn't and just really trying to vibe with how I'm feeling that day. So it'll really just, uh, you know, I'll have a game plan, but see how I'm feeling, how I'm settling into the round. First round I was nervous and I wasn't feeling confident with myself. Um, so. Obviously the wind was a little different, conditions were a little little different, but um, I feel like I putted and threw a lot more confident trust in myself and obviously that made a, a pretty big difference. I think what I'm most proud of is, is where my head's at on the course, off the course. Um, things just feel good. I feel like um, there's been some times where I've wanted to react differently, but I've kind of taken a second, taken a deep breath, talked myself out of um, getting in panic mode and just yeah, so that's really what this uh, whole weekend has been about. Even if I shoot a really hot round, she's obviously also capable of shooting super, super well. So um, I know that I can score really well on the end of a course. I just want to stay in bounds. I probably have like five of those holes out there that I, I know I can eagle. So try to get as many under par strokes as I can and see where, where it puts me. Hello and welcome to the final round of the Las Vegas Challenge. It's the first Pro Tour event of 2023 and we are wrapping it up today. We had a cut yesterday and we only have the top 50% of competitors. That is 29 FPO ladies. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And we're the two hockeys. Honk. Welcome back to the Innova course. Similar conditions as day two, but kind of a reverse wind. So we'll see some different shot selection. Um, welcome to the final day. We're happy to call the shots with you guys. Thank, for, thank you for joining us all weekend long. Yeah, we have some sun in the forecast. Um, also 47 states covered in 11 countries in 2022. Um, Katrina would be the only multi-time -win winner at the Las Vegas Challenge. Katrina and Paige. And Paige Pierce. Yeah. So Katrina definitely confident out here in the lead. Thanks to Udisc for all the stats that we'll use all day long. And let's check out some stats for the people on our lead card. Um, Katrina with a 39% wow. birdie rate. That's just obscene. 72% um, fairway hits, and that is why she got where she is today. Her putting has been amazing as well. Ella Hansen keeping it in the fairway, 77% and a 30% birdie rate, so not too bad herself. Um, great to see her these last two rounds. And what cool interviews, too, to get a look into the players' minds. Yeah, I like how everyone's just like really focused on having fun. I mean, they're obviously ballers. Look at Missy with a 54% scramble rate and parking almost 20% of the holes that she's playing this weekend. Oh, that's that's not too shabby, but having fun as well and staying positive, that's, that's what keeps your mind clear. Joining us as well is Haley King, 75% C1X putting and a 31% birdie rate. Um, excited to see how they all attack. Hole one is a par three, it's 353 feet. Cart path is out of bounds to the right. Um, you're teeing from out of bounds, so the drop zone is only if you don't cross in bounds at all, otherwise it's normal OB rules. The basket is perched on a right to left sloping hill. If you wanna attack, you kinda wanna go right at that tree. We watched Katrina take the aggressive big arm hyzer route at that big tree. Just to the outside is how you park the hole. Let's see what she does today. We started out the day um, with not too bad of windy conditions, but it definitely picked up as the day went on. This hyzer's out to really give it 
any kind of a, a look for a birdie, but it's fine for par. Yeah, I bet she's going to play safe today. If I was in I mean, her position with a huge lead. you had eight strokes to play with. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't need to do anything too crazy. No, just come catch me. Mm -hmm. See if Ella can get those five eagles. <laughs> I can't even imagine saying that. It's so cool. Ella throwing a PD right at that tree that I mentioned. And I think she's inside the circle. Mm -hmm. From Beacon, New York, Missy Gannon. Missy probably not biting off too much here off hole one's tee pad. You never know. You never know. She's got those laser straight thrasher shots, though that's not exactly what this is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is, you know, Ella obviously is one of the top players in the field, but I don't know. I feel like we haven't quite seen her in her prime yet. Like, she, mm. she just keeps getting better. Yeah, she's still relatively new to mm -hmm. tour. I mean, last year was her first kind of real big year, and we're just going to see more and more players contending at the top yeah. that we aren't used to. It's, it's going to be a really good year. You guys know Haley, um, last year's U.S. Women's Champion. She's won a bunch of uh, Elite Series events. Oh, look and, at this. And look at her in circle one already on hole one for That's birdie. Such a scary shot, but it's definitely one of the best ways to get there. So just to reiterate, um, when I'm saying the stats today, it is just for the 29 competitors uh, in the field. It's instead of the usual 57, I believe we have. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, it's the top 50% with ties. All the stats are for that smaller field. Missy and Katrina both with nice little upshots for their par. Huh, Ella. Oh, wow. Jamming one. That was one. so casual. For a second, I thought she was laying up. Let's see that slow mess. No big deal. Wow. That's had some heat on it, too. And she stepped, too, so she was just outside the circle, it looks like. What a way to start. Only six birdies on the day, and we got to watch two on our lead card. Haley and Ella both getting the green. Yeah, Ella in a headwind, and Haley kind of looking down at the basket in a crosswind. Those aren't easy putts. Mm -mm. Katrina and Missy just going to tap in their pars. Katrina o averaging over 1,000 for her three rounds so far Holy this tournament. Cow. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> and that's what's necessary these days to win yeah. an FEO tournament. Oh, crazy. Hole two, 270. Love this hole. Nice little wooded track before we get out into the wide open rest of the golf course. It's a gentle hyzer. There is out of bounds uh, left if you hyzer out too early. There's also out of bounds all the way down the right hand side if you uh, grab a tree on the way and kick right. You just want to keep something low, a mid, an overstable mid or fairway is what you'll see most players dealing with. LF's probably throwing a putter. Um, low and slidey is the way, I think, here. Yeah, Lux Link, you're correct from Ella. Yeah, low and slidey. I love <laughs> it. Put that on a sticker. <laughs> Haley yanking it to the right, but getting through a lot. Yeah, she might even have a putt, though. It's low ceiling. Katrina, I know she threw her rift the second round. I'm wondering if that's what this is. It's a little too high and hyzered. There's that OB over there she might be flirting with. Yeah. <laughs> I guess safe. Missy with a buzz, and that looks really good. Mm -hmm, that's a great looking shot. Eyes are in just a little early, but inside the circle for a birdie look. Ella with a long look for birdie, and there's this low branch that blocks these shots. It, it's so hard to really go for it. <laughs> oh, Raven Klein on the bag, nice. <laughs> Katrina with a little sticky bush right in the way. She tries going up and over with a really nice bid. She'll have to settle for par. Haley for a birdie. 
Wow. Nice. That almost looked like it was in slow motion. Mm -hmm. Such like a nice slow reach back. What a great putt. Back to back birdies. Missy just low on her birdie attempt. Same as the last hole, 20% of the field getting birdies. These holes have really perfect scoring separation. What's nice about kind of two through four, too, is it's a little more guarded from the wind, just a bit. Um, generally, we're going to be playing into a headwind for the first, what, 11 holes or so? Or no, sorry, a tailwind. Yep. So it's a little bit easier, and then you turn around, and it's going to be coming back in a headwind. So it's nice to get the birdies now. And the forecast today was was supposed to be calm when starting after 10.30 or 11, but that did not happen. No, it was somewhere in the, you know, 12 to 15 range most of the day. Hole 3 is a par 3, 260 feet. Most people not taking this drone uh, flight anymore. That's a big sidearm or maybe a left-handed player's shot. Most ladies going to go to the right of all those dead trees and just hyzer in to this elevated pin. OB um, short, OB cart path long, Haley of course proving me wrong <laughs> and parking it. Oh, no, 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 it oh, skipped long. Man, that was a lot of forward skipping. Yeah, well, I mean, usually you see uh, forehand players go a little bit wider, um, but that tree is growing in and making that shot harder and harder. Hello with the more typical right-handed play. Yeah, you can see, uh -oh. oh man, same deal. Oh, and it trickles oh, back in. We could break. You'll see anything from an overstable putter all the way up to a fairway driver here on this hole. Yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. Katrina taking the same really wide hyzer route that she took in round one. Unfortunately, going deep on the cart path, and we'll see her and Haley go from the drop zone. Hmm. I'm trying to remember the wind here. Do you remember? Kind of right to left? It was right to left, mm -hmm. yep. But pretty gentle. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I don't remember feeling it. I'm just surprised to see them all kind of push deep. Missy with a buzz. I think that's drawing it up nicely. Yeah, I think that's a general error here if you're feeling even just a teeny bit nervy. Right. Just make sure you don't go short. Haley from the drop zone, which is 117 feet from the basket. Uh oh. Carrying water. It'll be, I believe, normal OB rules now that she's crossed over. You don't. Hmm. You don't usually see that. Mm -mm. It's not the hardest drop zone. Like you're not gonna throw it in, but. But yeah, that one definitely got away from her. Katrina parking it for her bogey. Ella, long look for birdie. Just kidding. Not even gonna mess with it. Yeah, I mean, she's already gonna get a stroke on Katrina, so. And a nice little casual putt to save the double. I mean, I'm she's kinda, even for the round, but. Yeah, I'm doing the work she already put in. And Missy for her first birdie of the day, too high. Maybe just a little bit unfocused. Yeah, that is, that's not what we normally see from Missy. No, oh. you have to really be careful on the elevated baskets too, because mm -hmm. you saw how much weird bounces it gets in the wind. But I mean, ultimately that was definitely Missy's mistake, you know? Yep, over half the field getting birdies on this hole three. four with the newly designed triple mando same hole just a little bit tighter off the tee 384 feet and like kind of an uphill vibe even though it goes downhill um, just the slight uphill at the beginning you have to 
Throw with a little bit of nose angle up, but still some forward progression to get close to this one. There's out of bounds deep of the basket. I don't believe we saw any birdies in round two, and that's because usually you have to throw kind of high to be able to get there. Ella going about as high as you can get and getting some huge distance. That, she's still outside circle too. Yeah, that left to right wind really carried her pretty far right. Um, it's a good wind for getting extra distance off this tee shot, but a bad one if you can throw as far as Ella and turn it too much. I mean, I wouldn't call that bad, but... It flirted she, with some OB already. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, this played as the most difficult hole of the day. Just and, from lack of birdies, I'm sure. Yep. This looks good from Katrina. Dang, and not even in circle two either. That's about as well as you can do it as well. Even though the triple mando looks huge on the camera, it's in your head. Does it say how far away from the tee it is? It does not, but my guess is about 100 feet. Maybe just shy, something like that. Mm -hmm. Haley getting some huge distance there. I'm not exactly sure how close she is, but that was an excellent shot. That was a destroyer. Missy just pitching up to that bullseye, no problem. This is kind of a sketchy little approach with the basket on the hill and the OB deep. If you float one a little too high, it can very easily skip out of bounds. Haley just doing the jump putt to minimize any error. Matt, in the stats, did anybody land in circle one off the tee? Can you tell? One person okay, wow. landed in circle one and only, I believe... Four people landed in circle two. Gotcha. Out of our 29 competitors. Ooh, Katrina giving it a saucy little <laughs> run. <laughs> I feel like that goes back to uh, that interview we heard her say, like, that's not often a look that you see Katrina run. Mm. Haley doinks it. This is where it, you got to... Shake it off. There are a couple rough holes. Buckle up. Yep, there were no birdies on the day on this one. Old hole four. Katrina really tried, though. That was a cool run. This is like the classic tweener hole, mm -hmm. I think, on this course. Mm -hmm. Hole five is a really fun par five, super eagleable and birdieable at 642. Uh, you want to throw a turnover shot. There is OB, there's a string line on the left, there's a cart path on the right. Um, if you are feeling good and have a good drive, you can go over this golf green and try to park it for the eagle. Um, it is perched on another hill and there's a cart path behind. If you don't get your drive off right, you can just lay up and kind of do two pitching shots for an easy birdie. This is an enormous forehand, and that tree is kind of your marker of, is it a good shot? And it is. Yeah, getting past that tree is ideal, um, but even more ideal is to try to be tucked more to the left. It opens up the second shot. That's true. Um, Ella's going to have to contend with a tree on the right-hand side. Missy, a little bit further out, she'll have a little bit more of an open angle, but both of those shots will still have to be turnover backhands or big sidearms if they're hoping to get the eagle. Trina took this aggressive route up the right side over the cart path for a good bit of way. Oh, man, that was looking good, but she hits the tree. That's definitely a tighter line, but, I mean, she can get an extra 50 to 75 feet going that route. Haley just going flat and linear and low, hopefully not getting any crazy ground play. Yeah, this is why you were talking about wanting to get left, but... That newly added OB line comes in fast if you land on a hyzer angle. Katrina behind that tree just has to throw a standstill forehand before the green. That was well done. We saw her throw a forehand over the green in round two to get the eagle today. A little out of position. Let's see if Ella can uh, attack and get another stroke on Katrina here. Oh, yeah, she's going for it. Big old sidearm. Wow. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, no. I did not see that coming at all. I think, well, if you don't land it on the green to get the skip, that's a pretty common result. Man, that was 
Not that I throw far enough to know <laughs> from personal experience. Missy going with the turnover shot. She turns it over a good bit, but there's some room over there. And she checks up just before the cart path, giving herself right around a circle's edge look for Eagle. What do you think? Going for it? Oh, yeah. Throw in three. Lots of tailwind. Yes. And I love that she lands on the green, gets a little skip. She's still outside the circle, but for a birdie, not bad with an OB stroke. Katrina throws another little forehand approach. Sit down. Gosh, that's Jeez. the trouble with this green. Come back in. Good disc. <laughs> Lots of action on this green. Definitely the slowest stretch of holes we've seen from Katrina in a row so far this tournament. She looks relaxed, though. She does, yeah. Just a couple, couple bad breaks and, you know, missed shots. Not by much. Mm -hmm. Ella, unfortunately, going to miss this eagle hole. That's, I would say, the easiest eagle to get for her game. Definitely the Ooh, shortest. I, the short, yeah. Katrina just pitching up as well. 50% of the field taken a... Birdie or better here. Missy with the eagle bid, but she'll be settling for the birdie as well. There were five eagles on the day today. Cool. Five. Wow. 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 What a birdie save. Circle two, very casual death putt. Basically an eagle. Jessica Wee, Sarah Hoka, Macy Vela Diaz, Rebecca Cox, and Owen Scoggins getting those eagles today. Shout out. And look at that flag blowing. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. It got pretty brutal as the day went on. Headed to the first water hole. This is a 222 foot downhill shot um, to a tiny island. The idea here is to play it out over the water and let it hyzer into the green or throwing it low and letting it skip up to the basket. There's more room than you think on the left hand side, but it's not something you can air out over the basket high. Uh, Missy going with the hyzer route and gets oh. a crazy wind bounce. Still a great shot. Mm -hmm. It did drop fast though. Let's see, let's see this. <laughs> Elevator. Our first follow flight and boom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Insane. Wild. That was a buzz. So disking up a little bit in the wind. I would say putters probably the more common play. Haley using that using that space out to the left, but just a little too much skip. That's kind of the story of the day for her. Yep. Just a bit off. Ella turning something. This thing must be a beefcake. I think it's a mutant. Oh, it trickles off the back side of the island. The drop zone here, we'll see in a sec, is pretty... <laughs> I don't want to say punishing because you can make it, but it's a just outside the circle putt right at the water. You don't see a lot of people make it from there. It's a really great feeling if you can. It's a 48-foot putt. Man, Katrina off the island as well. When we came through here, it was kind of a right to left wind. So I'm kind of surprised. Did no one land safe? Missy. Missy. Right. We saw it on the follow flight. Ella just choosing to lay up. It looks like Katrina's doing the same. Pretty treacherous for such a short hole. Missy with a tap in birdie. Nice. And her scorecard is looking clean. Mm-hmm. That's 40% of the field with that tap in birdie. Haley, Katrina, and Ella all going to take bogeys. You had a 41% birdie and 34% bogey percentage on this hole. Whoa. Mm-hmm. The old birdogies. this point like let's see missy can kind of be making up some steam here huh five yeah. strokes yeah 
five strokes from Katrina with a lot left to play. Um, everyone else kind of staying the same. Look at own seven down through 14. Wow. Jen Allen, five down. Oh, Madison Walker, five down. Oh. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> uh, most of the people in the top 10 under par for the day. The wind is going to make for some interesting changes, though, as we move through the round. Yeah. Talk about interesting. Hole seven is a par four, 417. Uh, most women going to throw slightly over the water and try to lay up in kind of the triangular area um, that this graphic is showing before the golf green and then try to pitch up in between the sand bunkers um, to a, a slightly, ele it's not elevated, it's a slight hill that drops off really fast in the, ba in the backside. Yeah, towards an out of bounds car path. Right. If, mm. uh, I think. She, I saw a splash, yeah, Missy out of bounds. So we'll see Missy go to the drop zone, which is what, two, two hundred, how far is the drop zone? It is. Not quite 200 feet. 222 feet. <laughs> a little over 200 feet, just like I said. <laughs> Haley, I don't know if she was going for it. It kind of seems like it, but regardless, she's on the green and will also have to proceed to the drop zone. Every error Haley's made has been just a little bit too far straight. Mm-hmm. Ella hoping to check up. Oh my gosh. But it looks like she's going to find OB as well. I don't know. I... No graphic. So maybe she's. Maybe she's just barely in. Mm hmm. There was a right to left crosswind here, which is a favorable wind, but you, like, you still have to be aggressive because your disc is going to get pushed so far left. Yeah, just like we saw Katrina's here. She hung out pretty, pretty wide, but it just kept pushing towards that cart path. So now we'll see everyone throw from the drop zone. This does look less than 222, doesn't it? Just a bit. It did rain last night, um, so everything is a bit less skippy than normal. Yeah, the greens are super grabby. Com you know, compared to normal. Yeah, you have to, you can't quite rely on like the fast skip we've seen in days prior. Really fast skip. Yeah. So Missy lands safe for her par save. Haley in the OB hazard, she will have to putt from in the bunker, which can just be so difficult because you're putting at another bunker yeah and you're so down these bunkers are really deep so you're yeah. way down low and putting uphill at the basket katrina with a nice upshot as well to save her par ella was safe and that is such a scary approach yeah <laughs> not a lot of land there ella for birdie what a great putt. Wow. Such a stiff headwind, too. Like, uh -huh. Look at that flag. Nice little spinny floater into the basket. Little fist bump. Haley for... The scoring separation on this hole is the exact same numbers as the last hole. 40% hmm. birdies, 34% bogeys. I have a new goal of just looking as casual as Haley when I make a good putt. <laughs> like, I don't even care. <laughs> Nice par save from Missy, but not quite as casual as Haley. No, too for sure. bouncy. <laughs> Katrina with a great par save as well. Two up on the round, though, and Missy and Ella trying to close in that five strokes. It's possible for sure. Hole eight plays as the easiest hole of the day because it is one of those tweener holes where they up to par stroke for a hole that's a little bit too long to be a par three for FPO. It's uh, 417 feet, but downhill, but it doesn't quite play as a downhill hole because you have to carry pretty far straight before um, you can start the downhill angle of your disc. Big sidearm is the play here. We all wish we had this Sidearm that Ella has, there's out of bounds on the right and left though. So if you're throwing a backhand turnover, you got to make sure it does not peter out because you will find yourself OB very easily. Perfect shot from Ella there. Missy going to show us the backhand with her thrasher. That is the most common error we see on this hole is turning it over early into the willows, adding some tree interest to this hole. Um, but that is the mistake to make if you're going to make one. Yeah, she can still birdie from there. I think this is, oh, a pipeline from Katrina. It catches early and drops. But again, I mean, the hole's only 417, so she can birdie as well with a clean upshot. 
And Haley demonstrating the big sidearm as well. <laughs> it came out early, but turned out good. Yeah. And she'll be in circle two. Nice. 72% getting a birdie or better on this hole. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. That is crazy. Katrina laying up to, I think, just inside the circle. If you don't have that big sidearm, this hole was harder than ever because it was straight up a tailwind. Mm -hmm. So those turnover shots are so rough. Uh, Missy struggling to get out from underneath the tree line. She had some low-hanging willow branches. She's going to have to settle for a par look. Unless she cans a huge putt. <laughs> Ella absolutely parked for a birdie. For the fans, Missy. What a great <laughs> layup for the fans. <laughs> look at that tailwind. Yeah. Just crushing. Haley just going to casually eagle this. Dang, that would have been cool. Yep. There were two eagles today. Kona Montgomery with huh. a new last name. Yeah, I got to get used to saying that. Uh-huh. And Cy and Anda both got the eagle, too. Missy in for par. Squeaky clean scorecard so far. No errors other than missing birdies. Yeah, any error she has made, she has capitalized and finished out with the par. Mm -hmm. So Ella and Haley with the easy birdies. Big old sidearms. And we're already here at hole nine. Par four, 641 feet. You need to get out the tunnel first and foremost. Of course, more distance is more better. Uh, you want to throw your second shot very carefully. There is a bunker hazard on the right. Um, the, hit, the basket is perched on a hill. There's an OB cart path behind the basket. And you can see there's not a lot of room to land. This looks great. I love the height. Yeah. Ella's going to get so far on this. Yeah, that is the play for this hole. And you're on the left side of the fairway once you get around the corner, which means you'll really open up your second shot. Haley with a bit of a lower line. Ugh. It's caught up on the last tree. That tree, man. <laughs> Missy with a straight laser beam. You do want to finish more to the left, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's about 250 feet to get out of this tunnel. Very straight. Katrina going high as well. It really opens up the fairway. Yeah. You've got to have some big guns to do that. <laughs> she goes to the gym every day. <laughs> She's got huge guns. <laughs> Haley's still with a fairly decent look, and she's going to go big here. I would say the most common play on the second shot is exactly this, and maybe just trying to get to circle two as you fade away from the basket. Um, it's pretty sketchy to go straight at the bunker unless you have a huge drive. Yeah. Missy, Although, yeah, using the tailwind to her advantage. Oh. Yeah. I love that aggressive play so much. She was probably 360 from the basket, so it's cool to see her go big there. Katrina taking the, another big arm route and unfortunately not mm. quite getting there as well. This basket is legit, what, 15 feet from the edge of the bunker yeah. or less? So if you're in the bunker, you can definitely save. Look at how far Ella is. Oh, someone told me, one of the Jomas guys said um, her drive was 435. So huge 435. drive. 435? Like <gasps> down a narrow tunnel. And but what an unfortunate roll to go OB. Man. Terrible break after such a stellar drive. This has got to be one of the meanest basket placements on the property. Yeah, they changed this one last year. I'm going to make a sign that says put it back and just refuse <laughs> to play the tournament and stand here next year. <laughs> Haley finally not going deep here. What a great approach. Ella coming back from out of bounds. Trying to save par. Nope. This is a super death putt. I really respect that layup. Yeah, the bunker's right behind, if you can't tell. Katrina for par. So you can Good see putt. Missy, Katrina, Ella, everyone getting to inside the circle. 
uh, for birdie, but as far as distance goes, but only two birdies on the day on mm-hmm. this hole. This, it's so hard. Yeah, the green has a lot of teeth. Good par from Missy. Two down on the front nine. Katrina, two over on the front. Definitely not what we've been seeing so far. Only five strokes separating. Not quite comfortable enough for Katrina going into the back nine. And we'll look at the leaderboard as we wrap it up. Hina has stepped back up into the top four. Holland Hanley as well jumping Haley with a four down. Tone um, and Jen Allen, six down. Wow. Uh, almost done with their rounds, though. Madison Walker under par. <laughs> Caroline Henderson, Alexis Mandahano, and Jessica Weiss all under par as well. Um, I think yep. the back nine is going to play a little bit tougher. We're going to see a little bit more headwind, and it's going to pick up a little bit. Um, but join us for the conclusion, the final mm-hmm. nine holes of the Las Vegas Challenge. It just gets windier, and we turn into the headwind as well, so it will. things could get very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks to everyone on the Founders Club. You guys are the best. Constant Stanton, Chris Jules. <laughs> We really, we really appreciate you guys. The Joe Mez people appreciate you guys. And thanks for having us. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And we're the two hot keys. Honk. <laughs>